over the past several shows, uh, many people have come up to me, you know, and they've remarked that I always come out wearing a suit and tie. And they ask me why, and I tell them. Ever since Adam wore the first leaf, all men have wanted to look good. <laughs> you know, we're all out there trying to impress our ribs. <laughs> <laughs> but how did, you know, Adam arrive at the fig leaf? He must have tried on dozens of leaves before settling on the fig. even become history's first sustainable clothing designer. Well, it's basically the story of a guy hanging out, literally. He eats a piece of fruit, and he becomes ashamed that his genitals are exposed. What's the big deal? Just coming through Hollywood to the club tonight, I saw three people do it. And it, it's not like Adam is on the Sunset Strip, you know. He's the only man alive. And the only other person in existence to see him is his wife. This is not a story about modesty. This is a story about a marriage with intimacy problems. <laughs> or perhaps it's just the story of a bitter, horny monk with scurvy. But I'll leave that to the community. <laughs> now, uh, I was raised uh, reading National Geographic magazine. And I learned at a very early age, you know, that all over the world there are all kinds of people that walk around totally naked all the time. You know, a guy with a spear and a schmear of red paint right here. You know? A woman with nothing but earrings and a basket on her head headed to the next village. But we can't take these people seriously. No. They're not even civilized enough to realize they should be ashamed of their bodies. Hey, buddy. God says, put on some underwear. <laughs> and by the way, it's not polite to point. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> now, uh, you'll excuse me, you know, for just being another fully clothed, judgmental male, but uh, I'll say this. Naked cultures are doomed to a life without technology because there's a link between technology and clothing, right? Look, if you're going to have a cell phone, you need a belt, right? a pocket, a coordinated handbag, something. Bottom line, you know, naked people don't have phones. But I don't think that these uh, naked cultures should change their lifestyle, you know, for the sake of technology. I think they should adapt the technology to fit their lifestyle. For example, how about a spear phone? Bring. Hi, this is Umdugu. I'm away from my spear right now and can't talk. Please leave a message after the blood curdling battle cry and I'll get back to you. Why did I even start? Ah! And that is why I wear a suit and tie. <laughs> Thank you.